Good Friday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Honick with a look at what's going on across the Mid-South where it comes to weather conditions much improved over what we saw last weekend with record highs out across the area. High temperatures today in the red bar and the forecast at the bottom of your screen. Temperatures in the 70s for highs later on today. Winds out of the north, partly to mostly cloudy skies for today. Heading into later on tonight, temperatures for lows in the green triangle back in the 50s and a few more clouds into this evening, but we should be looking at the possibility of some clearing skies as we get into very early tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 Daybreak. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Next three hours, the next six hours, temperatures will be on the rise, so if you are out and about doing things, this is what it'll look like. Temperatures, again, not doing too bad just below normal for this time of the year. Into tonight, Friday night football, not looking too bad either. Temperatures will be dropping throughout game time. Sunset is tonight at about 645. So by the time we get toward kickoff and halftime, temperatures will already be in the upper 60s to lower 70s across much of the Mid-South. So jacket, may want to take that along just to be on the safe side, but should be very pleasant out there. Cough temp decks are exclusive and tongue-in-cheek coffee forecast. The weather forecast for this morning, cool for the wake up out there, maybe needing some hot Java, and into this afternoon, warm enough for a chill down of an afternoon refresher. Remember, your coffee, your temperature, your business, and if you get a tongue burn or a brain freeze, that's your, your fault, not ours. So just remember that as you head on through the rest of your day into the rest of the area. Very quiet overnight. No earthquakes to talk about in the Mid-South. A few north of the area, up around the Boot Hill, Missouri, under the Mississippi on the New Madrid Fault, but directly in the Mid-South, none to report in the last 24 hours. Union Campus Plaza camera is showing again a lot of activity as students are up and about for Friday morning classes and getting ready for the festivities this weekend as the University of Memphis heads down to Oxford for the football battle on Saturday evening. We'll bring you more views of the campus as we go throughout the rest of the weekend there. Cloud cover overspreading Power Center Academy in Memphis, seeing again a little bit of clouds out there early this morning, seeing a lot more out there thanks to an area of low pressure across the mid, just north of the Mid-South area. Rhodes College, a little bit of sunlight, but mainly cloud cover out across much of the area so far and likewise a lot of clouds around Olive Branch, Mississippi from former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Riker's web camera around City Hall. Ole Miss campus, a little bit more sunshine this morning around the track and field camera, a few joggers and strollers out that direction. No rainfall from Memphis yesterday, very dry month, two and a third inches behind for the month so we could definitely use some more there. Well ahead for the year by about a foot or so. High temperatures yesterday 77, normal is 80 degrees for this time of the year and definitely below normal in the temperatures, 54 degrees for the lows, normal of 59 for this time of the year, nowhere near the record high of 96, last setback in 1953, so good news on that. Sunshine for today, sunrise at 654, and again tomorrow at about the same time, we'll be losing a few seconds of daylight per day into the course of the next several days as we go toward the winter solstice. Moon is at 0.02% of full and waning. It is almost to the full moon status. Sunrise this morning was at 629, right about sunrise, and will rise tomorrow just after the sun rises at about 724. Sunset tonight, or moonset tonight at 649 p.m., right about sunset, and 721 moonset time into tomorrow. Temperatures into the rest of the forecast again through lunchtime, upper 60s to lower 70s. A few lower 60s over toward Corinth and Bolivar into western and Tennessee and northeastern areas of Mississippi. Lower 70s for today by the time the kids get out of school. And notice that's where we're also seeing a few sprinkles possible. We're not looking at a lot taking place, but in and around the area of northwestern Tennessee and back into around northeastern Arkansas. That's where we may see the possibility of a few sprinkles dropping down to the south. Maybe an isolated raindrop here and there, but it doesn't look like too much through News Channel 3 at 10. Finishing up the week and heading into the weekend. Friday night football looks good into tomorrow morning around daybreak. Temperatures going back into the lower 50s and would not be surprised into parts of the Mid-South to see maybe into around southwest Tennessee and northeastern parts of Mississippi. A few mid to upper 40s out there. Seven-day forecast, mid-70s, just below normal for this time of the year. Looking very nice out there into Saturday. Temperatures in the high 70s with no rainfall expected right on into Sunday. Temperatures a bit above normal into the lower 80s 
by the time we hit News Channel 3 Daybreak on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10 Sunday evening. The rest of the forecast temperatures heading upwards to the upper 80s by Wednesday and numbers going back into the lower 80s by the time we work our way into next weekend. We may also see that chance of showers and maybe some thunderstorms continue as we get into the weekend, but 20 to 30 percent chance that's not a lot, but it could be enough to mess up a picnic forecast or anything going on outdoors. So please keep that in mind and remember always for safety first when thunder roars go indoors. Let's all be safe out there when it comes to stuff like that. Next week we'll be continuing the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Memphis Skywarn Severe Weather Spotter Training Courses. Ripley Avenue in Ashland, Mississippi, October the 4th at 6.30 p.m. at the Benton County Courthouse, Hardin County Fire Department, Station Number 1290 Walnut Street in Savannah, Tennessee, just after that on October the 6th, and many more meetings coming up in the course of the next several days. So if you'd like to learn more about Skywarn and how you can get involved, get your kids, your family, your business, your place of worship ready to go when it comes to things like this, great opportunity to learn more about that as well. Tune in for my forecast available throughout the weekend on the EAB Network Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And don't forget about our weather app. Go to the App Store and search WREG Weather. Complete check of your forecast again throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3. Tim and Jim on first at 4 through News Channel 3 at 10 tonight. And I'll have your forecast throughout the weekend except for Sunday night where Tim Simpson will be dropping in to help out as Todd Demers will be on vacation all of next week. So I will be filling in for him. So I want to tune for the complete forecast as we go throughout the rest of the next two weeks. I'm Meteorologist Austin Onik for Friday morning's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining me and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather information.